Hi, I'm Dan O'Brien and we're here at 825 Arkansas Street Southeast in Rio Rancho. We are just about at the top of the hill. We're in a nice, quiet, middle-class neighborhood. And the views from the front yard and backyard are fantastic. You can see all the way to the Sandias. You can actually see Sandia Peak there. Coming up to the front of the house, you'll see that there is a two-car garage. And there's also, beyond these gates, which is storage for your toys, if you have a camper, a motorhome, or a boat, you can put that there. But beyond that is a 20 by 30 shed that's a barn style, and it actually has a loft inside for additional storage. The front yard is completely zero-scaped, so your weekends are your own. The front of the house is clad in a... The front of the house is clad in brickwork. Got a nice shade tree here in the front. That's the main living room behind those windows. And in the front you also have a nice uh, covered porch so that if you want to sit outside and say hey to the neighbors with your Sunday morning coffee, you can do that. As we enter the front, you'll see that the floors are clad in a travertine style ceramic tile. All of the doors have been upgraded in the house. The colors are all in a neutral theme. And you've got a lot of architectural design in here. You've got these arches. And then you've got a vaulted ceiling that is about 12 feet. Backyard is there. We will go through that in, in a bit. The kitchen, you can either enter through that door or that door, so you don't ever get bunched up in the house. The kitchen is nicely appointed with espresso cabinets, a double overmount sink, and a granite style countertop with uh, an actual a, a, a natural stone backsplash and a honeycomb accent wall here. The sink looks directly out over the backyard so that you can watch the kids as they play or if they're in the pool. The stove and oven are gas and they are Samsung. Also comes with a Whirlpool microwave as well as a dishwasher and a top mount freezer. Washer and dryer are directly across the hall from the kitchen. They're both Samsung and there's your living room again there just to get the bearings. As we head down the hallway, we're going to hang a right and we are going to the kids' bath, our bedrooms and bathroom first. Bedroom number one is about 12 by 11. Bedroom number two is about 11 by 10. And I'm not measuring this, I'm actually just going by eye. Kids' bathroom is here and it's very well appointed with a tile top vanity along with glass tile accents and a high style wall that is or a mirror that is the exact size of the vanity. This is the room with the bathtub. The tiles have been updated in here as well and you have a glass tile accent that runs the entire shower. Coming around to the right, we have additional storage closets. And then we have the garage. The light will come on in a second. There we go. Standard two car garage. Uh, but you do have additional storage up there at that end, which is about four feet wide. Great space to have. Coming out of the garage and hanging to right, we're coming into the master. The master bedroom floors are clad in a hand-scraped, high-style laminate. 
You've got plenty of natural light in here. This room is about 12 by 16, maybe 12 by 17. And you do have his and hers closets that are clad in barn style doors. You have, you've got a nice soft gray color in here also. It feels very modern. So the closets are spacious. Moving past the closets into the, the, um, the ensuite bath. You've got a shaker style cabinet clad with a white marble countertop. His and hers mirrors. We've got a water closet over there. And then these light slate tiles on the floor are carried into the walls for the shower. And you've got this beautiful glass and stone tile center strip for accent. Now we're headed back out to the living room. We're gonna do a short tour of the backyard. The backyard is enormous. Like I said, this house sits on a little over a half acre of land. You've got a covered patio here. And the patio has been extended to this area here where there's, it's currently set up for barbecue and dining. There are currently some gardens planted. There's some melons and sunflowers growing. There's an additional space over there for seating with a fire pit, if you'd like to set it up like that. Um, great play area here for the kids underneath the shade tree, as well as an above ground pool. The property goes all the way up into that corner. There's actually a rabbit living up there too. And the shed, like I said, is 20 foot by 30 foot. We've got a double door on the front. It does have a ventilation vent on it, on the roof to uh, help let the heat out. It also has windows. And there is the gate that leads to the front yard. So again, I'm Dan O'Brien and my telephone number, if you have any questions on this property, is 505-209-3902. Again, 505-209-3902. Dan O'Brien. Give me a call. We'll set an appointment. Thanks for watching.